Happy love relationships are associated with good health, both physical and mental, and with long life, longer life. Unhappy love relationships are, and loneliness are associated with stress, physical and mental illness, and earlier death. The field of psychoneuroimmunology looks at the connection between our immune system, our relationships, our psychology, and our brain. And it turns out that the long-term chronic stress with the associated cortisol that's released wrecks the immune system. It also shortens telomeres, which protect the, the ends of chromosomes, resulting in premature aging and death. So the stakes are very high in terms of relationship satisfaction. For men in general, their health is better if they're married and they live longer. Um, some people speculate that that's because the woman schleps the man to the doctor in heterosexual relationships and tries to keep him on the healthy side of habits. Uh, for women, it depends on whether the relationship is a good relationship. So women in a happy relationship of love do live longer and have happier lives. But women in unhappy relationships actually suffer more than women who are single. In my book, I not only look at the neuroscience, I also look at relationship science. Let's look a bit at what relationship science teaches us about happy and un unhappy relationships. I'll focus especially on John Gottman's work, which many of you may know. So John Gottman found that happy couples like each other, they're friends, they admire each other, respect each other, they nurture the we of their relationship, they have a lot of positivity and a lot of less negativity even during conflict. During conflict, which they have, they maintain composure, they don't become emotionally dysregulated, and they repair often and well. By contrast, unhappy couples are just about the opposite. They have a lot more negativity than positivity. They don't repair well. During conflict, they become very stuck in nasty, nasty exchanges, as Gottman calls them. They become emotionally and physiologically dysregulated during conflict. Gottman calls this DPA, or diffuse physiological arousal. Your heart's racing, you can't think straight, your emotional brain is taken over. And these unhappy couples experience this a great deal. Unhappy couples, instead of nurturing a sense of we, which the happy couples do, instead fall back on me versus you. So there's a sense of a power struggle in unhappy couples.